Hi everyone, welcome back to Precaution Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss about one more example of the expected value of the random variables. The example is find the expected value of the function g of x1, comma x2, comma x3, comma x4 is equal x1 power n1, x2 power n2, x3 power n3, x4 power n4, where n1, comma n2, comma n3 and n4 are the integers. So that integers are greater than or equal to 0 and the joint density function of random variables x1, x2, x3 and x4 is 1 by a, b, c, d for x1 is equal 0 to a, x2 is equal 0 to b, x3 is equal 0 to c and x4 is equal 0 to d. So this is the given example. Coming to the solution, given that the joint density function of random variables x1, x2, x3 and x4 is 1 by a, b, c, d for x1 is equal to 0 to a, x2 is equal to 0 to b, x3 is equal to 0 to c and x4 is equal to 0 to d. So first find out the marginal density function of random variable x1, marginal density function of random variable x2, marginal density function of random variable x3 and marginal density function of random variable First, we can calculate the marginal density function of random variable x1 and its expression is fx1 of x1 is equal integral uh, 0 to b, x2 range is 0 to b, integral x3 range is 0 to c, integral x4 range is 0 to d, joint density function of 4 random variables into dx2, dx3, dx4. So, given that the joint density function is 1 by abcd substitute here which is equal fx1 of x1 is equal 1 by abcd. 1 by abcd is constant that is written before integration. So parallelly integrating with respect to x2, with respect to x3 and with respect to x4. Integral 1 x, integral 1 dx2 is x2 over 0 to b. Integral 1 dx3 is x3 over 0 to c. Integral 1 dx4 is x4 over 0 to d. So now here substitute upper value of x2, lower value of x2, here substitute upper value of x3 and lower value of x3, here substitute upper value of x4, lower value of x4. So b minus 0 into c minus 0 into d minus 0. So the numerator term is pcd divided by denominator term is abcd and numerator and denominator pcd is the cancel, the remaining RHS term is 1 by a. So this is the value of the marginal density function of the random variable x1. In the same manner, in the similar manner, we can determine marginal density function of random variable x2 and its value is 1 by b and marginal density function of random variable x3 and its value is 1 by c and marginal density function of random variable x4 and its value is 1 by d. In the same manner, we can calculate fx2 of x2 value, fx3 of x3 value and fx4 of x4 value. Since fx1, x2, x3, x4 of x1, comma x2, comma x3, comma x4 is equal fx1 of x1 into fx2 of x2 into fx3 of x3 into fx4 of x4. So this is the condition of the statistically independent random variable condition. So now the x1, x2, x3, x4 are the four random variables. That four random variables are statistically independent random variables. The joint density function of four random variables is equal to product of their individual density function. So that is, this is the expression. So given that, what is the function? The function g of x1, comma x2, comma x3, comma x4 is x1 power n1, x2 power n2, x3 power n3, x4 power n4. So now where the random variables x1, x2, x3 and x4 are the statistically independent random variable. So the expected value of product of random variables is equal to product of their individual expectation. That is expectation of x1 power n1, x2 power n2, x3 power n3, x4 power n4 is equal expectation of x1 power n1 into expectation of x2 power n2 into expectation of x3 power n3 into expectation of x4 power n4. First, separately we can calculate expectation of x1 power n1, expectation of x2 power n2, expectation of x3 power n3, 
expectation of x4 4 and 4 separately calculate all these terms and after that substitute all those terms into in this equation finally we get expectation of the function g of x1 x2 x3 x4 value first to calculate expected value of x1 power n1 so expectation of x1 power n1 is integral x1 power n1 fx1 of x1 dx1 so now where the integration is with respect to x1 so the range of the x1 is from the given data 0 to a so the marginal density function of random variable x1 is already calculated and its value is 1 by a so 1 by a is constant that is written before integration expectation of x1 power n n1 is equal 1 by a into integral x1 power n1 dx1 is x1 power n1 plus 1 by n1 plus 1 over 0 to a so now substitute upper value of x1 and lower value of x1 we get a1 power uh, a power n1 a power n1 plus 1 minus 0 power n1 plus 1 0 power n1 plus 1 is 0 so uh, 1 by a into a power n1 plus 1 by n plus n1 plus 1 so in this numerator term a power n1 plus 1 is written as a power n1 into a numerator and denominator a is the cancel and the remaining value of the rhs term is a power n1 by n1 plus 1 in the same manner in the similar manner we can determine expectation of x2 power n2 we get and its value is b power n2 by n2 plus 1 and expectation of x3 power n3 is c power n3 by n3 plus 1 expectation of x4 4 x4 for n4 is d power n4 by n4 plus 1 since n1 is equal to n2 is equal to n3 is equal to n4 is considered as n. So n1 is equal to n2, uh, n1, n2, n3, n4 is considered as n and substitute n1 is equal to n, n2 is equal to n, n3 is equal to n and n4 is equal to n into this expression and this expression, this expression and this expression. We get expectation of x1 power n is a power n by n plus 1 expectation of x2 power n is b power n by n plus 1 expectation of x3 power n is c power n by n plus 1 expectation of x4 power n is d power n by n plus 1 substitute all these expected values into <coughs> <coughs> expectation of product of random variables is equal to product of their individual expectation expression so therefore expectation of x1 power n1, x2 power n2, x3 power n3, x4 power n4 is equal. So a power n by n, n, uh, n plus 1, b power n by n plus 1, c power n by n plus 1 into d power n by n plus 1. So this numerator term can be arranged as a, b, c, d whole to the power of n by and the denominator term is n plus 1 whole to the power of 4.